Tara here from Simple Day, and I want to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the video description below. I want to show you how you can track the activity in your Monday.com account. Now, there's two places that you can track that you track this. You can either track it on a board level or on a specific item level. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to do it. The first way to track activity is on a board level. So you can see I have this board open called Tower Task Board. If I click on activity in the top right, I'm going to see all the activity that is listed here. So you can see, for example, that I changed this LinkedIn post from not started to working on it. You can see that I have a task called Avi website. I changed the due date on it. You also can use the filters. I can filter by person or use the filter log, which let's say I want to see everything that was done today or this week or this month or even this year. You also can check the integration activity or the automation activity. If you want to see what automations or integrations have fired on your board within that day. The other thing that you can check is what activity was done on a specific item level. So in order to do this, you need to find the item that you want. You click on the conversation bubble and you can see an activity log. So in this specific example, this was the LinkedIn post that I was talking about earlier. You can see that two hours ago, I changed it from not started to working on it. I also changed the date from July 10th to July 16th. And again, you can see the integration activity or the automation activity that would be associated with this specific item. So just to review quickly, there's two ways that you can track activity, either on a board level or on an item level. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please like it below and remember to subscribe so you can receive tips and tricks on how to use Monday.com.